Hi, it's Abby from Abby and Steve's Rockin' Adventures. In this video, we're sharing our 13-day itinerary to Peru. We started in Lima for two nights. We stayed in the neighborhood of Miraflores, and due to flight delays, we had only one afternoon to walk around. We walked along the ocean and found the Park of Love, Parque del Amor, with the famous sculpture, The Kiss. The next day, we were on a flight to Cusco. Cusco is in a valley at a high elevation. We flew in, couldn't land due to high winds, and flew back to Lima. The next day, we tried again and made it to Cusco, the land of the Inca, where Inca people still live. We spent three nights in Cusco, and there's lots to see. The first day, we took it easy to acclimatize to the high altitude. We drank some coca tea, a local remedy to prevent altitude sickness, and we walked around the historic center of town. Inca ruins are all around. The Spanish just built right on top of them. The next day, we took a city tour, which went to five different Inca ruins in and around the city. Cori Conchka is a museum where a Spanish church was built on top of several Inca temples. Just a mile outside of Cusco is Sacsayhuaman, where Inca rulers and elite lived. The site is huge and we walked all through it. We also toured the temples of Kenko and Tambo Mache, as well as the ancient site of Puka Pukara. The next day, we took a trip outside of Cusco a few hours to the Inca crop circles at Moray. We also went to the Mara Salt Flats, which families still own and work to this day. After three nights in Cusco, we moved on to the small town of Ollante Tambo for two nights. It's about a two to three hour drive in a taxi from Cusco and is described as a living Inca village. It has some great ruins of a fortress. As a day trip from Ollante Tambo, we took a train and then a bus to Machu Picchu. Wow, it was amazing to walk through the ruins. It was much bigger than I expected. We stayed one night at Star Lodge, a hotel where our room was a capsule hanging off the side of the cliff. We had to climb up to our room, the very top one. We could hot tub in a hot tub hanging off the side of the cliff. We had delicious meals at base camp and a great view of the stars at night. Then we headed back to Lima for our last four nights. We stayed in Miraflores again, where paragliding is popular. One day, we took a very long day trip to the Balestas Islands. We were able to see the Candelabra, an enormous ancient geoglyph similar to the Nazca Lines. We also saw penguins, sea lions, and birds like boobies and more in the wild. Then we headed to the desert and Huacachina Oasis. 
We did some sandboarding and we rode in some dune buggies. Miraflores is a great area to stay in. There's a lot of street art, walking around is very fun, and there's many good restaurants. We tried a lot of authentic Peruvian dishes on our vacation. One of our favorites was the various ways they cooked fried trout. Our hotel had a rooftop pool with some art and a great view of the city. Lima is a huge city, so we did a tour to see the historic central area. This is the Plaza de Armas. It has a church on one side, other historic buildings, and then what was described to me as the Peruvian White House, a government building. At the White House, the Peruvian White House, it was having a changing of the guard or something. There were troops and music. And on the other side of the plaza, there was a parade with music as well. We took a tour of some catacombs underneath this church. No pictures were allowed inside, but they had discovered over 40,000 bones underneath the church. On our last day, we toured some pre-Inca ruins dating back over 2,000 years, right in the heart of Lima. These ruins were discovered in 1981 by kids riding their bikes on what they thought was a hill. It's still being excavated to this day. We had such a great time on our trip through Peru. There was so much to see. Thanks for watching and have fun traveling.